But it appears that Mayor Lori Lightfoot will not face any petition challenges in her bid for re-election, and she is not planning to go after any of her challengers. But some of them are going after one another, which could winnow the field before the February 28th election. Willie Wilson was one of the first to file his nominating petitions last month, reporting more than 60,000 signatures. But now one of his competitors, J. Maul Green, says there are grounds to challenge the validity of many of those signatures. He pointed to page after page of Wilson's petitions where the handwriting was so similar for different people that it raised suspicions. When we looked at the amount of fraud and the tens of thousands of signatures that were fraudulently signed, um, you know, we just said we had to do something about this. But Green is himself facing signature challenges from Willie Wilson. He doesn't have enough signatures. That's, that's We w went through them at the board, compared the uh, signatures and the r registration records on the petitions to what's on the board records, and um, he didn't have enough valid signatures of registered voters. Wilson also challenging the petitions filed by Rod Sawyer. This afternoon, Wilson's lawyer filing the objection paperwork at the Chicago Board of Elections. Candidates need 12,500 valid signatures from registered Chicago voters to get on the ballot, and Wilson's team claims Sawyer fell well short. While the petitions filed by Chewy Garcia and Cam Buckner did get reviewed, as well as Mayor Lightfoot's, sources from other campaigns decided those challenges would not be worth the time or expense. But longtime Alderman Howard Brookins, who's retiring, says regardless of what the field gets winnowed to, he believes Mayor Lightfoot will make it to the runoff. I look with the number of candidates, with the people who have sufficient resources to run a credible race, I look for a runoff, and I believe that she will at least make it to a runoff, absolutely. And while the mayoral race, of course, gets the most attention, there will be plenty of challenges in the aldermanic races. One to watch will be the race to replace retiring Ed Burke in the 14th Ward. A Burke lieutenant is expected to face signature challenges in his race against a candidate endorsed by Chewy Garcia. The deadline to file those objections is 5 o'clock today. Rob. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.